please, as an anesthesiologist, all of us will tell you, if they tell you not to eat before your procedure, it is to keep you safe. I know it can be hard if your procedure is not until midday or, you know, things happen. Sometimes your procedure will get pushed back, but this is really and truly for your safety because as you're going to sleep, your stomach muscles, the, the muscle that keeps the food in your stomach relaxes and you're laying down. So as you're going to sleep, that food or whatever is in your stomach can come back up and can go into your lungs. And that creates a whole nother set of issues. Um, you know, you'll see the news stories where um, a child went for something very simple. Yeah. Um, eight, we always ask parents, you know, when's the last time you had something to eat or drink? Yeah. You lie to us, we, we have to go based on what you what you tell us. Um, and these children go off to sleep, that food comes up, they breathe it in and um, you can suffer it. Yeah, it's like an aspirate. Yes, aspirate, a suffocate. Pneumonia. You can have um, basically a huge inflammatory response in your lungs and be on a ventilator afterwards um, yeah. until all of that calms down. Like there's nothing we can do once it's in there and we do our best to, to try to minimize that from happening. Um, so yeah. All right guys, if you guys don't hear me, Please, you gotta, you gotta listen to please, her, okay? please, please do yeah. not eat before your procedure. Do not eat before your procedure. It's, it's, it's actually a really, really big deal. So yeah. I'm begging you. 